Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick little video of uh, blooms and spikes for May. Um, this lighting is going to be terrible because it's backlit. But this is my Awanagar apple blossom. And there's three open and I see at least two more buds. There might be three or four. Just little tiny guys in there. but it Smells delicious uh, when it, the sun is out and this is the first time the sun has been out in four days. <laughs> we we're having constant rain down here and yesterday we had some snow. Not as bad as Cleveland though. <laughs> um, but miserable May. Oh, bad lighting. I'm sorry. <laughs> My uh, CG Roebling has dropped its flowers. But that's okay. Time to grow. And got this little guy. This has been um, in bloom since the March show that I went to. Um, it's a sequential bloomer, which is awesome. So it had a bloom here, or a bloom here, and it dropped. And so this one opened, and then there's going to be another one, and there's another bud right there. So it's going to be in bloom for um, a little while, which is pretty cool. I like to have flowers for a while. <laughs> okay, um, this is all for this window, except for my little butterwort flower. Um, you can step over here. This is, everybody's got to have a giant white phalaenopsis, right? <laughs> and this one is mine. <laughs> but, that pretty girl fell out of its pot yesterday. I might have to, oh, almost went again. I have to doctor it up a little bit. <laughs> and just because I'm over here, I'm trying a new, um, this is actually a bonsai mix that it has been like rinsed out so all the sand and fine stuff is gone. But there's turfus, fine bark, and I think granite chips. Um, but it seems to be liking it because there's two new growths. So, and it seems to stay damp. It's looking pretty good. Um, it's been in that for about three weeks. So, that's a good, good experiment there. <laughs> And this is my, I have to pull this down so you guys can see this. This is my Cattleya nobil nobiler, nobiler, is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> um, the pink doesn't show up on the camera, it's like a really, really light pink. It has three flowers. There's a name tag. And, it, and I'm just so glad I didn't blast these. <laughs> but there is happy sap all over the thing. I mean, my sister tasted it yesterday. <laughs> okay. And this guy, I'm a little annoyed with him because I was going to take him to show and tell yesterday and was not in bloom. And I knew it was happening soon. And today... They all popped up in pretty much. They're, this one's still closed, but I'm going to see if I can get close because it has really interesting flowers. Let's see. Focus. See those tiny little hairs with the little purple thing that come in from the top? Let's see if I can. There you go. And the, and the lip is really hinged. I'm sorry if this is shaky because <laughs> I'm zoomed in so much. Um, let's see if I can make it. I think they're so cool. Um, this one is a division I got from Wade last year. I'm actually not sure. Might have been no, it was like the end of summer. Um, but it is Longiflorum Crown Point, which I'm very happy with it. It's kind of weird how it bloomed, but um, that might have been my fault. Sometimes it's hard when you're in a windowsill and trying to give it enough light. You shouldn't really move them around, but there we go. Pretty cool. And I have two more in Spike. This one 
is I can't pronounce Anna Dali Dali by Frosty. I'm doing some or rearranging of in my plant room. But there's a spike. Um because the catacetums are getting too big for their shelf and it's still too cold outside to take them out. So they have to go up a shelf where all my catleas are for the time being, anyway. And this little guy, this is so tiny. These are going to be little flowers. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. There's my fingertip as reference. <laughs> so tiny. This one is Baba Phil and Cornu Servi, I think. So that'd be cool to see. There we go. And oh, I was going to show you guys these. I went to my society meeting yesterday. And this is my little hole. Um, this is a Rinko Lelia uh, Digbiana. I've been eyeing one of these, and he had one for a good price. And it's in desperate need of repotting because it's bulging from roots. And this is the newest growth, so I'm going to do that soon. Um, but it looks great. And this is a little Sophronitis cernia. Cernua cernia. But look at that little guy. And then this one, I wasn't going to get it. But he was doing a talk on dendrobiums. And this was a really neat one um, that he had for sale. He had one in bloom. But it's Dendrobium finisteri by Polysema. And it has fuzzy flowers. And that's mainly why I got it. Because I like fuzzy flowers. Obviously. Dig Biana. <laughs> but um, look at this new growth sheath. It's so cool. Um, but. Yeah. So that was my little haul. Um, oh, I have one more spike. Hold on. Okay. I'm watering the catasetums too since I have to move them. Um, I thought this was Dreamboat in Spike, but it's not. It's a Penang Sweetheart by Chuck Taylor Sunspot. Um, so, Anna, I'm sorry, we can't compare blooms. But it's progressing nicely. Get in there. But, yeah, they're getting too big for the shelf I have them. <laughs> Especially. These guys over here, <laughs> they just, you know, it's just, they're hitting the top of the shelf. <sighs> Warm up outside. Oh, and this one's been in bloom for a long time, so I keep forgetting I have it. But it's my little um, Tulumnia Volcano, I think it's, t oh, Tequila Sunrise. It's so pretty. Focus on the little guy, there you go. Well, that's all I have for now. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, hopefully I have some more blooms to show you soon. See you later.